Hi guys, a lot of you have requested an updated makeup tutorial with some new things that I've been doing, so I just filmed that and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, first step, well, I already did like my skin prep, so the first step in the makeup is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. One thing about this, I've had this one for a very long time. I don't think a year, maybe almost, and I can't really tell where the bottom is because it's messy. But a lot of product still comes out. This lasts a long time and it's very worth the money. So I just like to put this, is this even in focus? Just buff it out with my beauty blender. Something I've noticed about these lately though is they mold really fast. Like I've only had this one for like a week and it's already doing that. So probably shouldn't put it on my skin. I need to pull my hair back. I don't wear foundation all the time and my skin is really dry right now, so I don't think I'm gonna put it on today. But when I do put foundation on, I just use this It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. This is like their new version of their CC cream, and I really like it. But my skin is really dry lately and not that great. So I feel like when I put foundation on, it just kind of looks patchy and gross. So I'm going to skip that step today. I'm going to be using the Kosas Concealer. Um, I have a little bit of a tan. Can't tell on this camera, but you can in this mirror. So I have a darker one and then a lighter one. This is the one I usually use. But I'm going to put a little bit of the darker one just because I'm not doing foundation. So this is the lighter one. I'm just going to put it like in the inner corner and then take the darker one and put it like right next to it. And I also like to put concealer right here. Put this on the bridge of my nose. Wow, great job. Just kind of want to even up my skin tone in some certain areas. Sorry, this camera is not doing me any favors. I like to leave the under eye one on the longest because it gets a little more full coverage the longer you leave it on. So that's the last one that I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna turn the light off so that's better. Like, yeah, I feel like you can see that better. I don't feel as highlighted as I want to be. So I'm going to finish like my bronzer and blush and maybe add a little more of the lighter concealer depending on how I feel after that. I just feel very dull lately, so I'm not choosing a great week to do this tutorial for you guys. Now I use the Dibs um, Contour Stick. It has a blush on one side too, but I use a different blush. And this one is in the color Vacay Vibes. And you can get this on Revolve along with the Kosas Concealer. And it comes in like two days. And then I take this brush and just blend it out. Now I'm going to take the Rare Beauty blush in Hope. So I just do one dot on my cheek and just blend it up. I like to put my blush pretty high. And I like a lot of blush because it, I think I said this last time, it gives me like a healthy glow and I really like that look. And I am going to take this lighter color and just highlight the rest of my face a little bit. And I'm just going to go back in with this brush and just kind of blend everything out. Now I take the Fit Me blush, blush powder and this is the loose powder and then i've been using one of these little poof things i just got these on amazon and i've been using these to set my makeup like my under eyes and stuff and i like it a lot better because my skin is dry i can kind of look creasy and creepy and gross if i use like a normal brush like this so since using this i've noticed that it's been looking a little bit better and then i'm kind of still working on my technique with this so i like to just dip it into the lid and then I'll just pat it on my hand so there's not that much. So it kind of looks like that. 
a little more off and then I'll just go in under my eyes. I don't know if I need more, I'll just pick it up off my hand. And I just set my eyes like this. And then I'll just set like under my chin and around my mouth, then my forehead. And I'll just take whatever's left over and just quickly dab like under my cheekbones. Now I'm just going to use some bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer, the Hula Light. It's a perfect color for me, so I love this. And I just... Now I'm going to take this MAC blush. This is one of my favorite blushes. I've had this for a lot of years now, honestly. I should probably get a new one. And this is in the color New Romance, and it really adds like a really pretty highlight to the face. So I just take this on a big fluffy brush and, and I'll just bring it up. Like I said, I like it high on my cheekbones. Then I like to bring it on my nose also. And I'll take a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin. Now I'm going to take this combo, which is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil and the 24 Hour Brow Setter. And I don't do a lot with my brows. I kind of just brush them up. I kind of just outline the bottom. Like that. So it's really just traced. And then I like to brush them up because I have thick brows already. I don't like to fill them in crazy. Now I'm going to set them with the setter and to set them I kind of just brush them like up and out to get them a little fluffy. Now for eyes I use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. So I'm just going to take this lighter brown color to start with and just put that into my crease. I have hooded eyes so eyeshadow is not my specialty you can't really see it and then when my eyes close it just spreads and then i'll just add the darker color to my outer corner to deepen it a little bit and i just take a highlighter just like a face highlighter to highlight my inner corner because i don't love that one i want something a little brighter so i just use this revolution highlighter in just my type and i just i don't even use this on my face i just use it right Then on a day like today where I just feel kind of dull, I'll take this Tartlet and Boom palette and I just need a color like this. I don't know, I just feel dark. This is something I don't do every single day, but sometimes I will. If I just want a little more definition, I'll take these two colors and take them on a tiny angled brush like this and just kind of tight line the outer corner of my eye. This is more so just because my eyes are hooded. It makes my mascara look a little more full. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and use this It Lash Blowout Mascara. And then in between coats of this, I like to use the Benefit Roller Lash for my bottom lashes. And I just like to do it in the outer corner. And I've shown you guys this hack before. And I still do it every day. Take a spoolie on your eyelid to get the mascara off. So then after all of that, I like to set my makeup with the Benefit Professional Setting Mist. Sometimes if I feel dull, like I have said, I'll use this Tula Skincare Signature Glow. And then I'm just going to take this Kylie Bare Lip Liner. It's broken, so it's like out super far. So I just do that and outline my lips. And then I take this Maybelline Lip Gloss 
This is the Lifter Gloss in Ice. This is way better lighting. I maybe maybe should have done it in here. Um, anyway, this is my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And it's super easy. It takes me like 15 minutes to do every day. Light, but still gives you enough coverage. I wanted to show you one more lip product that I've been loving lately. I just got it at Ulta the other day. This is the Tarte Lip Plump in the color Cherry Blossom. This is so good, you guys. I highly recommend you getting this. I should have put this one on instead of what I did but I will show you later on in the vlog. Cameron and I went to Williams Sonoma yesterday because I got a gift card for my bridal shower and I saw some good things online. Basically, they had a whole Grinch collection and you guys know during Christmas time, I love the Grinch. So I wanted to show you the things that we got. Obviously, the first thing that we got is the Peppermint Bark Paws. We couldn't find... I actually got a couple clips in the store on my phone that I forgot, so I will insert those here. Or at Williams. Yeah. Because I saw they had a Grinch collection. And I have Why do I always get my coffee stuff? Let's get out of here. Okay. Those are cute. Oh. <laughs> I like these things. Here's the Christmas over here. <laughs> this is my favorite stuff in the whole world. They might just have a regular size of this, oh, like this size. Pretty big still. I know. Oh, it's together. Yeah. Maybe we'll just have to get the paws. Oh no, it's open. What's that one? Do we need that one? It's pretty big. <laughs> I bet you would like it. Dark chocolate. I can't really eat that. Oh, I get the paws. Right here. No, that's not enough. I have the tin. That's the whole point. That's, that's for dogs. No, it's just shaped oh, like yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, look, there it is. I really want this. Check this out. That's tight. And you have some water? Pancake molds. Is there more? Look at all that peppermint work. But at first we couldn't find peppermint bark, so I got the paws and then we found like a huge display of it. But I usually get the peppermint bark, so I wanted to get the paws this time. Look how good those look. If you guys haven't had peppermint bark, from Williams Sonoma, you have to go get it this season. Aside from that, um, we got a couple mugs. Honestly, with Christmas stuff, I love to be like kind of cheesy, and I think of like getting this stuff and passing it down with the family. So I think the cheesy stuff is cute, and it kind of always comes back in style. So it's not honestly, it really isn't trendy because it's cheesy, but it's classic. Other than this, which is not classic. But it is cheesy. Look how funny. Oh, I love it. This one is my favorite. Like, look how cute and classic that is. And then all the little hooves are on the inside. It is so cute. I might make a copy in this now after I wash it. I'm kind of going between this cookie jar or the Grinch one. But Cameron loved Santa, so we got Santa. Look how cute. He's reading his list. You can see it says, Dear Santa. And then he's drinking like a hot chocolate or something. And we just thought this was so cute. And see, it's so cheesy, but it's so cute. So I need to make cookies to put inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We had fun looking around with all of this stuff. I'm so ready for Christmas this year. I'm on my way to Trader Joe's this morning. It's Halloween. Uh, we are not doing anything for Halloween, to be honest with you. We do have some full-size candy bars though, so the McAdoo house is lit. But we only have chocolate bars, so I might go to like the dollar store or something and get like Sour Patch Kids and stuff like that. 
I like to go to the grocery store on Mondays just to get a good start to the week. later and I've done a few things since then. Um, I made this flower arrangement. Look how beautiful it is. And then I also made a simmer pot. We are that house this year. Everybody honestly proud of my layout. Here's the leftovers, the refills. And now I'm making dinner. It's 4:10, but I want to make dinner now so I can relax and kind of be done because I am making jambalaya so you, it can kind of like sit on the stove for a while but this is I have literally my iPad here with the recipe but we love jambalaya in this household so I'm going to take you guys along with me while I make that update this is what it looks like and then I'm going to turn it down to simmer and put the lid on it Date night at our favorite spot. Angelo's. What are you gonna this get? This is where we had our rehearsal dinner. Yeah. Yeah, in that room over there. Mm -hmm. What am I gonna get? <laughs> I'm gonna get. It's not even on the menu. It's salmon. It's salmon? Off the menu special. It's salmon, veggies, usually like Brussels sprouts, and something else. Potatoes? And then potatoes, yeah. I'm gonna get this 1982. Italy wins the World Cup. It's cool, all of the pizza names are like stories.